What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a really cheap jig to balance out the voltage in your lithium battery pack. Stay tuned. All right, so did you know that you have to keep the voltage equal between your 24 volt boxes on your setup or you're gonna have problems? I recently found this out the hard way and I found a fix to it. You've got a couple options to fix this and we're gonna talk about them. But what happened to me was I was at the farm and I was going through a ditch. It was muddy. I almost got stuck. I was coming out the other side. I had the hammer down um, and I, all, I was almost through all the muddy uh, part and all of a sudden my cart just stopped. And I was like, uh-oh. And then I got up, picked up the seat, looked at the battery boxes, and one of my breakers had tripped. And I was like, that's weird. That's never happened before, ever. And I was like, that's strange. So later that day, I flipped the breaker, I kept going. Later that day, I had like four people on the cart. We are going uphill, hammered down. I could tell it was amp draw on the cart, right? Going uphill, loaded. And then all of a sudden, breaker tripped. And I was like, that's weird did it again and i was like something's not right my cart's never done that before i took it back we fully charged it and i noticed something one of my battery packs was charging to like 33 volts the other battery pack was only charging to like 25 to maybe 26 volts and uh, and then the main charger would shut off so the lower voltage box would never come up to equal the other voltage box and the charger was cutting off because once this box got to 33 volts, the smart charger thought that both boxes were fully charged, so it stopped charging. So I was like, well, that's weird. So I called um, Big Battery and I said, hey, look, I got a difference um, in voltage between my two boxes. What are your suggestions? And they basically said you have two options. You can buy a 24 volt charger, bring the lower one up. That's an expensive fix. It's a $200 charger. You can find them on their website. I'll put a link to it on the description, but that's the expensive route. The pros to doing it that route is that you'll fix this issue really quick because the charger is going to bring the voltage up on the lower box really quickly. Okay. The downside is it's an expensive way to do it. The second choice is the choice that I decided to go. Um, and that is to create a jig like this where you take your higher voltage box and you connect it to your 12 volt bus bar and you turn your lights on and you drain that battery down to equal the other lower uh, voltage box. And then you charge your main, you plug your main charger back into your pack, both packs, and bring both batteries up equal to fully charged. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, it's the cheapest way to do it, but the downside is it's the slowest way to do it. It took me all night to drain my battery from like 29 point something volts down to 25 and a half volts. And it took all night running a backlight and a front light. So it, it's just a slower process. Um, but you shouldn't have to do, the, do this very often. So um, shouldn't be a, a problem doing it this way. So anyway, let's go to the shop bench. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks to build this and things you might need uh, to make it just a little bit easier. All right, so this is a really simple build. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time going through each and every little connection. I'm just gonna show you basically what it takes to build this, show you a couple of tips and tricks and a couple of tools that may make this go really, really quickly for you. So basically guys, what it is, um, is I started with a quick connect plug that you're gonna need to get, say off of Amazon. Um, you're gonna need to get the lugs that have basically the, that fit the size wire that you're gonna be working with and there should be several options for that. I use six gauge wire because I had some spare laying around. Then you're gonna need to connect that, that, the big wire to the smaller wire on your 12 gauge regulator. And I just use some copper collars to connect the bare wire together. And then I just put heat shrink over it, worked out perfect. And then you're just gonna need to connect. I soldered some of these uh, alligator clips to the out, uh, outgoing wires on the 12 volt regulator. So real simple. But I'm gonna show you a little bit about this um, quick connect plug that may make it easier if you're unfamiliar or you've never built one yourself. There's a couple of little tips and tricks that uh, will help you understand how they work. So let me show you, when you order one of these, say off of Amazon, you're gonna get two of the lugs with it, right? So you've ordered the lug that fits your wire that you're gonna be working with. And the way these work 
is they have a little lip on the end of the lug. This is the part that slides into the plug. And that little lip, right, is um, going to catch on this little flat piece of metal that's inside of the plug. And I'm gonna show you how this all works. So you're gonna put this down, the little flange goes down, and then it's going to slide in. You're gonna hear, after you built your wire on here, you're gonna put it in, you're gonna hear two snaps. The first snap is not what we're looking for. The second snap is the snap we're looking for. So the first snap, that's not what we're looking for. It's the second one, here she comes. That's it right there. So once you hear that snap, it's snapped over the metal and it's not coming out. You can plug it, unplug it on your box and it's not coming out. So she is in there, but how do you get it out if you want to get it out? Because it's hard to get out. So, whoops, sorry, my dog just hit something over there. Uh, so anyway, what you got to do is take a screwdriver and then you're going to press on either side of the contact you can see a little bit of the flat flange in there. You're gonna put your, your screwdriver on the flat flange and press it down, and it releases it from the lip of the lug, and then the lug will slide out. There it goes. So it's that easy. Uh, just release it, it'll slide out, it's that easy. So there you go, guys. A simple jig to fix unequal voltage across your dual lithium battery packs. Easy to do, cheap to build. I'll put all the links to the stuff I use in the description below just because it makes it uh, organized and easy for you guys to find it. So uh, if you have any questions, my email will be in the description below as well. Feel free to reach out to me and if I can help in any way, I definitely will. And uh, leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave me a thumbs down if you didn't and tell me why you didn't like it or what I could have done better. I appreciate the feedback and if you need anything, let me know. God bless and until next time, you guys stay safe out there.